The balance of the field stand quietly, and it looks like number 14 winning Grace is a late scratching down at the gates as they sent on their way. Give them a chance to settle down. Right up there is centerfold on the inside. Savic shows a bit of speed and Paris last to the outside. Three Rocks is just in behind them. Then comes Bella Trees racing three or four off them. Red Love is right up in the vanguard. Further back in running, you're going to find Miss Capitano. Then comes Mirren Sank behind that one. Fly Like a Falcon is racing green about six or seven lengths off the leader. And Tubayez is towards the back end of the field with stage play. They at the 400 and Paris Lass is in front and Samanga Kumalo has guided this one into the lead and shot two or three lanes clear and it's going to take a mighty performance to beat Paris Lass from here has gone well clear Paris Lass in a race of her own going to win a very good race second goes to three rocks then came Savic in third and fourth goes to move on over But always cruising. You can see Samanga Kamalo now gets down. Just guides this one into the lead. Still under the hands. Now going to get asked to go and win the race. And off goes Paris last to win a cracking race this afternoon. Well done to Gavin Smith. They've got some lovely runners today. They'll be looking for a big afternoon. And of course to Mr. Kondovs. Congratulations. Great to see these silks back in the winner's enclosure. And easy stuff over here for Paris Lass, who jumped at about 28 to 10. And that's how we open up proceedings in Klaberga. PA starts in race two. Bets must be on by quarter past one. Well, Paris Lass will get us started this afternoon in the Eastern Cape, a case of well-deserved considering her two starts to date had seen her in second. She finds the winner's box and third times the charm. The man to my right is Temba, and he's the man that does all the hard work with this girl, so very well-deserved to see him accept the very first World Sports Betting Winning Grooms Initiative check. So very well done, Temba. One and a half thousand rand for that win. Show us those pearly whites. Big smile. <laughs> that is definitely worth smiling about. Very well done for your hard work behind the scenes. Congratulations. And that's Temba. He looks after Paris Lass. She is in the winner's box. There you have it. Paris Lass is the daughter of Visionaire. Steered to victory this afternoon by Smunga, who's going to be joining me shortly. And as mentioned, considering her form leading into this, it was very well deserved. Smunga, and that big grin, are you also waiting for a check for 1,500? <laughs> Yeah. They deserve it. I know yeah, you, you know, always they, thank them. They, they, yeah. they do, do the hard work behind the scenes. And, uh, yeah. you know, even the, the training or windy or whatever, they always there with the horses. They really deserve it. And a uh, big well done also to all spot bets for uh, making sure they look after them. So, yeah. Back to the uh, to the filly. Obviously, you know uh, she had experience, yes. and uh, you know I, I said to myself, I'll stay where I was. Uh, but the wind was a little bit too strong for us to actually keep in a straight course. But uh, I think, uh, as Mr. Smith said, you know she's got a tons of speed, and you just allow her to use it, but still holding a little bit in hand, you know. And uh, I think uh, she was re uh, spot on today. And, uh, you know, just uh, yeah, kept her together, kept her together. I think when the pressure came, obviously, when <laughs> when she's in the air, the wind caught her, so we ended up on the inside. But she still, she still won a quite a nice race. And, uh, you know, tons of speed, and I think uh, she'll do well living on the poly. So we'll leave, we'll leave that to Mrs. Smith. Again, a uh, big thanks, uh, obviously, to the owners. Yeah, see, he, all the time, uh, uh, he has a runner, he has a winner, even the last meeting. Yeah. So it's always nice, you know. Uh, 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 we can get a couple of more for Mr. Smith. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, to my sponsors, Maurice Fontaine, Vohobus Drift, and also to Smith Racing Team. It's a big team, and we need the winners. So uh, that's what it's all about. Uh, uh, to the Bling fans. <laughs> There you have it from Spunga, and he steers the first vic horse to victory home today, and she would have been well supported. Gav, um, you chatted to me early in the week about her, and of her form is obvious. It was there. She's a well-deserved winner and a great win for Mr. Gonzales. Yeah, lovely for Carlos. So he's passionate about his racing, him and the family. And uh, actually, just got back from church. They started oh, a poiki, and was shouting his filly home. So I had the family what on the a phone. Day. And uh, yeah, it's a lovely day for them. So now they can enjoy their poiki and enjoy their lunch. And uh, just very well done to him. He's passionate about racing. It's lovely to have a winner for him. She's a very neat yeah. little filly, this um, yes. um, Nades. And I picked up very cheaply. 
And uh, but I, there was just something about her. I loved her. She was very well built. She walked well. And uh, yeah, she's, she's trained on, you know, in a race with experience. And we used her speed and experience. And, and uh, Samanga rode a perfect race. You know? He certainly did. Well, let's give uh, Mr. Gonsalves another reason to celebrate as Corin brings in the Bloodstock uh, SA value added bonus, 100,000 Rand. And that's definitely going to make Easter even more enjoyable with the family winner in the winner's box, check in hand. Great, great, great stuff. That's lovely for them. A great initiative about Bloodstock South Africa. Now it's these, these bonuses make a world of difference. You know, I the guys do. come back to the next sale and get interested uh, again in the babies. So, a great initiative. Gav, as usual, lovely feel. Uh, uh, lovely, should I say, carded fields lie ahead in the Eastern Cape. In the next race, you've got horses like Bridgerton and Vas Vota. The Winter Lake will be an interesting newcomer. Cherry Anu, well, he's done nothing wrong, but this is going to be his acid test. Slings and Arrows looks ready to find the winner's box. And, of course, a great coupling in a competitive eighth race with Great Melody and Modern Magician. Can you tell the people out there, how are they today? Are they coming to course well? Fit and well, Nights. Um, Stringer's looking good at home. They're working well. They ate up last night. All good to ready to fire. Depends uh, with a bit of luck in running yes. with this headwind. This headwind's really strong out there. Um, I don't think people can realise how strong it is looking at the TVs and the monitors at home. Uh, it is absolutely pumping. And you could see the little filly between the, the 300 and the 350. The gap between the you stands. You know, the gap yeah. between the stands, how that wind took her right yeah. across the course. You know, So it's going to be luck in running. Some horses up front, it might be stopping them. So you're going to need some luck. Oh, certainly are. But this is a winner in, on the day for you already. Congratulations. Much appreciated. And thanks to my sponsors, Oliver. Great start to the day for the Gavin Smiths Munger Kamalo team as Paris Lass finds the winner's box. As mentioned, off two seconds, it was a well deserved win here for the daughter of Visionaire. And uh, yeah, lots of extras in this race today. So uh, shout out to the Bloodstock SA Value Added Bonus who gives away the 100,000 Rand check for those uh, youngsters that come off the right sale. And of course, as well, again, a big thanks to World Sports Betting getting involved here in the Eastern Cape for that 1,500 Rand winning grooms initiative. To Mr. Gonsalves and his family back home, I hope you are having a wonderful Easter Friday.